everybody it's Kelsey Brianna J here with my last favorites video of the year it is my December favorites I hope that you all had a blessed and prosperous year I'm looking forward to 2019 I'm ready to jump in with the bank but before we jump into 2019 I want to share with you all some of the products that I have loved this month so in no particular order the first thing that I want to talk about is the ABHX Omri Z highlighter which came back and I was so excited because I had put it in the back of my makeup drawer because it wasn't readily available anymore but I pulled it back out because they brought it back out and I'm so excited about that because this highlighter is beautiful it's smooth it's versatile it works on a variety of skin tones it works with a variety of looks and it's overall bomb if you did not get a chance to check out this highlighter when it first launched now's your chance now we're never the highlighter is beautiful I highly recommend it she's gonna put on right now I love that and I also love these brushes these are the Royal and Langdinkle brushes and I am so excited to finally have some in my collection this is a brand that I knew about but I never ordered anything from them because it was a lot of options on their website I didn't really know where to start so when I was in Atlanta for IMATS Mel and I stopped at their booth we grabbed a ton of their brushes and I absolutely adore them I have been using them non-stop since I bought them they are such high quality I haven't tried all of their brushes but I love the two lines that I have tried these are the Omnia's they have the gold handle and these are natural hair brushes and these are also Omnia's but these are synthetic hair brushes and these have the rose gold handle but these are so nice guys and they are so inexpensive I will have a link down below where you can purchase them because I reached out to them and I told them that I thought their brushes were bomb I volunteered to join their affiliate program because that's how much I love these brushes I think that they are absolutely amazing they are great quality and you cannot beat the price point I love the handle of them I love the quality of the materials and they work beautifully next I have a little bitty baby this is the velour lash adhesive so I got this in a PR box and I have been using it non-stop when I don't see this on my table whenever I'm gluing on my lashes I search frantically for it because that's how much I love this this glue is sticky when you first apply the lash Anybody who's a lash wearer knows that you have to wait for the lash glue to get tacky. This comes out of the gate tacky. I already use a non-latex glue, which those are a little bit tackier than latex-based glues. But this is perfection. And it does not rip out my lashes when I'm taking off my lashes, which is really important to me. Because I don't like to always have to wear lashes. I like to wear lashes because I want to, not because I have to. So lash preservation is very, very serious to me. I love this lash glue. It secures my false lashes while protecting my real ones. I'm here for it. This palette is so freaking beautiful. This is the Juvia's Place Tri Palette. I loved my look that I created with this palette. I think that it is so well formulated. It's such a beautiful palette. The colors are so unique. I love how they're placed in this palette. The color selection is so interesting that I could think of endless looks that I would want to do with this palette. But normally I get bored with palettes, but this one is just really inspiring. I love it. I definitely am going to be doing more looks with the Juvia's Place palette, and I think it's bomb. So this is a product that I have loved on a few times in my favorites videos this year. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Eyeshadow, and I love the one in the color Smoke. It's something about this color that is sexy. It's natural, but yet at the same time it stands out. It makes your eyes pop. It's a cool toned color, but it looks really good on my complexion. Sometimes cool toned colors can just look very blah, very muted and dull on me, but this one really pops. It dazzles. I love this color. It's an easy color to throw on and go. I actually just did a video using this product with the Tom Ford Coco Mirage palette. You all loved that look when you saw me wear it on Instagram. A ton of you all asked me to do a tutorial on it so of course I obliged but this is easy anybody who just wants something quick to use this makes for a very beautiful quick glam eye look this lip can get you a husband I'm just saying this lip has magical powers this is the YSL the slim matte lipstick in the color reverse red I love the formulation of this lipstick but this color though it's just beautiful it's a very intoxicating color whenever you have it on your lips people are going to stop you and ask you 
what is that you have on your lips because it's so beautiful to look at it's a very powerful color it's definitely a statement color when you have on this color be prepared for people to come talk to you and your lips are inviting them in your lips will literally do the talking the last product that i have to share with you all in my december favorites video is a sydney grace eyeshadow palette this one is called autumn's rain this palette is so well formulated. The colors in it are so beautiful that I cannot wait to play with it again. I did a video and a look using this palette. You all love that look. You show me so much love on Instagram. Thank you so much. But this palette is so well formulated. You can easily just take this palette with you if you are traveling and create a plethora of different looks using it because it has everything you need. I am so ready to buy some more Sydney Grace eyeshadows because if that's what they're coming with straight out of the gate with the palette, those singles I already know are on another level because I already have seen the swatches. I have a list made and I cannot wait to share with you all what's on it because it's going down when I place that order. So these are all my favorite products for the month of December. I have loved on these products. I have used them all month. I am so excited for January because January is my birthday month. My birthday is one, two, three. You cannot forget it, January 23rd. I am an Aquarius and I'm so excited to start celebrating. So time for Kelsey on Culture. I feel like I'm Wendy Williams with these segment names. <laughs> so as far as events and shows and all that good stuff, for the month of December, I have been watching the show, The Sopranos. That show is so good. I actually finished it. Oh, so good. I don't want to give anything away for those of you all who have not seen it, who still want to see it. Even though the show has been off of the air for over 10 years and the lead star actually passed away. The main things that I liked about the show was that it was gangster. They were not playing. They meant what they said and said what they meant. So I like that. What I didn't like about the show is that sometimes I thought it was repetitive. It was like, all right, how many times is this going to happen? How many times are we going to do that? But overall, the storyline of the show was so interesting. It kept me entertained for sure. I think my favorite character on the show was Polly, and that's because I felt like I could relate to him the most. I really liked the show. It was so interesting. I think HBO makes the best shows, like the best shows. We have The Sopranos, Sex in the City, True Blood. HBO makes that fire. How can I forget Game of Thrones? Like HBO, that that's that network. I actually am in the process of watching another show. I am watching the show Room 104. And it's a really different type show. Every episode has a different storyline and different characters. But basically it's about a motel room and things that happen in the motel room. And so far I'm on season two and I haven't still quite figured out what's going on in the motel. Like I know it's something kind of supernatural happening, but I'm not sure if like everybody's hallucinating in the room. I'm not sure what's going on because for the first season, what I noticed was that everybody could come into the room, but once you were in the room, it didn't look like anybody was going out. In season two, it looked like a few people went out, but it was like if they came back in, they didn't go back out. I don't know. I'm still watching it, trying to figure out everything and putting together the pieces. I will keep you guys posted on that. As far as music, I know Meek Mills came out with his new album. I haven't gotten a chance to listen to the entire thing. I started listening to it and I got through maybe like four songs, but I was really busy that day. But I do know that I like his song with LMA where they sampled Beyonce. I'm like, that song is cute. And I still want to listen to Mariah Carey's new projects because I love Mariah Carey. I just haven't had the time to just really sit there and listen. So now let's jump into Kelsey's comment corner and I am going to showcase some of my favorite comments left by you guys throughout the month of December. Okay, so this comment cracked me up. It's not necessarily a new comment, but I was going back through my videos, you know, doing my research for all of my videos that I've just posted. And on my MAC Studio Waterway Concealer Powder and Foundation Review, I was really struggling with one of the products in that video. And I was like, let me see if I can salvage a look out of this. And Shayla Garcia quoted, let's see if I can salvage a look out of this. And she said, LOL, that's me every time I do my makeup. I was so tickled when I read this. I was like, that is so funny. She is hilarious that's hilarious <laughs> baby precious said you can make any beginner a pro in applying eyeshadows 
Thanks. I'm learning a lot from you. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me because a lot of you guys don't know, but my background is in education. I got my undergraduate degree in education, but I did not go into the educational field in a traditional manner. I utilize my background in education to teach makeup. So that really means a lot to me that you're learning from me and I'm able to convey messages to you all. So thank you. Smooches. Joanne Strauss said yes. Love it so much. Who am I kidding? I love all your looks. Thanks, girl. Please keep the tutorials coming. I wish I could fly to Tennessee and get a one-on-one -on -one lesson from you. You can, girl. She said, you are the Meryl Streep of makeup to me. Yes, I said it. <laughs> Meryl Streep? <laughs> like, Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep? Thanks, girl, because Meryl Streep ain't nothing to play with. She is going to come correct. She's a different character in every movie that she's in. So I really appreciate that because The Devil Wears Prada is one of my absolute favorite movies. That's all. Simone said, the thumbnail brought me here. That was all the life in the world. Beautiful. Thanks, Simone. And what she didn't even know is that I spent so much time editing this thumbnail and I didn't even want to use it. But I was like, you know what? I spent too much time on it. You know how you're in a mode where you just don't like anything? And it might have been because I was PMSing, I know. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to post it. And the fact that she said that, I was like, thank you. I needed that little confirmation. Sometimes I need that. Etta Everlasting said, I'm going to let Kelsey explain why all my Christmas gifts were handmade this year. And then she has some emojis and it says, hashtag Kelsey said add to cart. <laughs> I believe it's the thought that counts because you got to treat yourself too now. So those handmade gifts probably are better than anything else you can buy from the store. I'm making it better. Yes, I am. I believe I'm helping you. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. I believe it's Olayinka Olaganjo. I tried and I'm so sorry if I mispronounced it, but she said, girl, you are one of the only YouTubers I'll sit and watch their whole video, including all the ads. I want to make sure you get all your coins. Yes, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate those of you all who go so hard for me and support me on this platform because you all know YouTube is not a cheap thing to do. I appreciate you. Okay, I really, really do. Before I let you all go, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Going into the new year, I just want to talk to you all a little bit about how I want my channel to be and just everything that I expect from YouTube. So in 2019, I'm going for that 100,000 subscriber plaque. I want it, no questions asked. I know that you all are going to help me get there. So what I want you all to do is to like comment and subscribe. I want you all to show out. I know that I can get there with you all's support. So make sure you share my videos. So share them on your Instagrams, share them on your Facebook pages. Make sure you spread the news about my channel. Let's get more people here. Let's keep this positivity going too. I want to make sure that my channel grows, but it flourishes in a positive manner. So I want to keep the same energy, but I want to take it to the next level in 2019. My Kale Bells, I know that y'all have my back and we're going to make this thing rock. Also in 2019, I don't know if you all want me to get on a filming schedule. That way you all know when to expect videos from me. But in doing that, I don't want to stifle my creativity. I'm a very go with the flow person. I never want to get on here and post content just because it's my day to post and then it's something whack. I always want to make sure that it's authentic to me, something that I think is cool and something that I'm proud of. With that being said, I would like to have a film schedule, but I want it to be a looser film schedule. So you can expect videos from me on certain days, but if I am not able to fulfill that obligation every single week, then you know that I wasn't feeling it that day. But having a schedule kind of gives you an idea of when to expect me to post so I want you guys to vote on what days you want to see videos from me so I have a few different options if you go with the option where I post more videos then I am not going to give you all different looks in every single video so with that being said in one look I could possibly do up to three videos so just keep that in mind those of you all who like for me to come on here dripping and finette no I'm just kidding but if you like to see me looking different all the time that does take a lot of time and preparation so in order for me to produce the high level of content, I have to be time efficient so I cannot just switch looks all the time because doing my makeup will take an hour, I'll take an hour to do my hair, I'll take 30 minutes to pick out an outfit.
outfit we don't have that kind of time if we're going to do a lot of videos in one week so just keep that in mind let me know what you all think about that also what time is best for you all what i've been playing around with in 2018 is the 8 a.m central time do you all like that time? I know that a lot of my supporters are on the West Coast. So do you like to watch me right when you get up if you're an early riser? Or would you prefer for me to post a little bit later in the day? Later, like maybe like 10 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Pacific Time, and it'll be 11 o'clock Eastern Time. Let me know your thoughts on that. Tutorials. I know a lot of you all ask me to do tutorials on my looks. And I really have shied away from doing that because what I have noticed is that a lot of you all ask me to do it, but I don't get the the same support and engagement on that video so not a lot of you all watch it with that being said if you all ask me to do a video I need you all to engage with it otherwise it doesn't really make sense for me to take the time out to do it so let me know what types of videos you all want to see from me I know your favorites from me are reviews but I also have a lot of different ideas that I want to implement on my channel and I think that you all like my more creative videos so I definitely am gonna get those juices popping you're gonna get a bunch of dope videos from me in 2019 and of course I have have a long list of videos that you all want to see I know everybody wants to see a makeup room tour guys I don't have a makeup room the minute that I get a makeup room I promise you you all will be the first to know so I don't have that so we can go ahead and scratch that off the list for the top of the year next order of business I know a lot of people want to see my favorite brushes video I will have that to you all in the first quarter of the year so give me about three months so by March I will have that video to you all I am in the process of researching different brushes all of the brushes that I love currently are discontinued they're either discontinued because they redid them to be synthetic or either they just stopped making them in general so I don't want to do a video on a whole bunch of brushes that you all can't even get your hands on because to me that doesn't make sense to do but that's everything. I want to thank you all so much for your continuous support during the year of 2018 and every year that I have been on YouTube. Every like, comment, watch, any type of engagement, I appreciate you. You all have no idea how much you make my day whenever you come up to me and tell me, you know, you watch my videos or you just thank me for being a positive source in your life like that it really means a lot to me. And I am so happy to have found this platform to be able to share my thoughts and just be able to come on and be a creative with you guys i don't know why I, am i getting a little emotional okay let me bring this back but anyways i just want to say thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart at certain points this year i seriously contemplated stopping doing youtube videos because i felt like it just wasn't going anywhere but then when i meet you guys in public going to imats and meeting so many of you guys like that just renewed my faith in youtube and it let me know that all this work that i'm doing for my channel is not in vain there are people out there that love me i love you guys back and so i just really want to go to the next level with YouTube I know that so many opportunities can be created from this platform and it all starts with you all I thank you to each and every person who has shown me support this year honestly I really really do so I cannot wait to see what 2019 has in store let me know what you all want to see from me I look forward to reading you all's comments I want to wish everybody a happy new year smooches bye